Hi there. My name is Uluyoye Michael Ido, a research officer with New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. I'm reaching you this morning from the Alvina Gala block of Jeremy Smart Stingira Orchard Badlow to talk about an aspect of PIPs for Profit Research Program being undertaken by New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. The research program is titled Optimizing Harpoot Production Systems through PIPs for Profit and an NSW DPI team led by my humble self is working on an aspect involving the manipulation of carbohydrates for optimum crop load and food quality. This New South Wales DPI aspect of the research program aims at enhancing precision in chemical thinning of apples through effective manipulation of carbohydrates. This is important because the availability of non-structural carbohydrates and sugars control growth to a large extent, both as immediate substrate for metabolism and as signaling molecules for growth and development. Non-structural carbohydrates are therefore essential for developmental processes in plants, including vegetative growth, flowering, fruit set, fruit growth and retention. For crop load management, fruitlet sensitivity to chemical thinners could be directly related to the balance of available carbohydrates. This implies that relatively high carbohydrate supply to fruitlets can inhibit the effectiveness of chemical sprays as the chemical thinning process will not be sufficient to cause fruit abscission. Based on this background, the current project aims at manipulating non-structural carbohydrate supply to growing fruitlets in early spring for optimum chemical thinning outcomes. Carbohydrate manipulation for this project will be through early autumnal defoliation and spring leaf removal in the Alvina Ghana block where I'm currently standing. The implemented treatments include a control with no defoliation, 50% early autumnal defoliation, 50% early spring defoliation and a combination treatment of 50% early and 50% autumnal defoliation. These implemented treatments will enable us to know the dominant source of carbohydrates to early season fruitlets, whether it is reserve carbohydrates or newly synthesized carbohydrates. This study will, in addition, provide information on how the manipulation of these carbohydrate types affects chemical thinning successes. Through this study, we can investigate how carbohydrate manipulation through defoliation leads to a better control of crop load in Alvina Gala and possibly other apple varieties. Over the next few seasons, we will be collecting data on carbohydrate content of various strategies, including the roots, woods, spores, flowers, and fruitlets, in order to understand how the implemented pollution treatments influence carbohydrate dynamics in Alvina Gallo tree. We also assess the effects of carbohydrate manipulation on the effectiveness of chemical thinning operations deployed during the crop thinning window at spring. In addition, fruit quality assessment will be carried out at harvest to know how the implemented treatments impact fruit quality. This project aims at helping growers to have a better control of their apple tree crop load management and ensure enhanced tree sensitivity to chemical thinners, leading to improved precision in crop load targets. You can kindly consult the PIPS for Profit website for further information or send an email to me through michael.edo at dpi.nsw.gov.au. Thank you.